you watched it for free on TV. Then you paid to watch the reruns on DVD. You paid to watch the reruns again on cable. And you paid to watch the reruns again again on Netflix. <laughs> now, again, again. get ready to pay HBO Max to watch the same reruns again, again, again. Only this time, it comes with an all-new reunion special. Again. <laughs> That's been indefinitely postponed. Yeah, it hasn't really been our day, or week, or month, or even our year. Friends. Welcome to Turn of the Century New York, where coffee shops are more than just a place to charge your phone. The sweaters are extra chunky, and the furniture etiquette is just awful. Get your feet off the couch. No shoes on the furniture. And meet the friends. There's Joey, an aspiring actor slash human garbage disposal. Hey, how much you give me to eat this whole jar of olives? Whole cuts, ice cream, limes. Custard, good. Jam, good. Meat, good. Monica, a chef with some seriously undiagnosed OCD. You see these little flower yes. blossoms? They should be facing up, not down, because, well, the head of the bed is where the sun would be. You want to put the marshmallows <laughs> in concentric circles. You don't know the system. Don't be nobody messing with the system. Her brother, Ross, who goes from depressed nerd. Hi. 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 Someone at work ate my sandwich. To manic, unstable buffoon in <laughs> 10 short years. Be careful. Very hot plate. Very hot. Ross, you don't even have oven mitts on. <laughs> Rachel, a sentient haircut who can only speak in complaints. <laughs> and life officially sucks. So this is Brooklyn. He made Rachel cry. Rachel always cries. <laughs> Chandler, an insecure man-child who uses humor to run away from his psychological issues. I have issues with commitment, intimacy. I make jokes when I'm uncomfortable. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. And Phoebe, she's a wannabe musician with a mother who committed suicide. My mom killed herself. A father who abandoned her. My real dad's the one that ran out on us before I was born. And a stepfather in prison. You know how my stepdad's in prison? Causing her to grow up in the streets. I was living in a box. I used to beg for money. Well, someday I'll tell you about the time I stabbed the cop. Whose estranged identical twin stole her identity to do porn. Stop <laughs> using my name and shame on you. And the dead woman she thought was her mother wasn't actually her mother and her real mother was alive the whole time. I'm your mother. You know what? This is too depressing. Let's just call her the weird one. <laughs> the only guy I've ever been crazy about is people. Wanda Mintz can have my never. I may never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Phoebe. <laughs> if you want to know what New York was like in the 90s, read a history book or something? I don't know. But if you want to know what a sitcom set in New York in the 90s was like, Friends is the show for you. <laughs> Watch these sporadically unemployed 20-somethings live in multi-million dollar apartments. Straight up. And it's a good thing that there's no crime because these doors will never be locked. We have got to start locking that door. <laughs> that would be a sensible idea. Watch as they consume some of the finest legally clearable products of the decade. <laughs> like Daani water, Villa wafers, Diet Napple, Quran beer, Vinit Vaya, and Sprite O. I never All noticed. set against Network TV's version of New York's true <laughs> melting pot. Featuring a diverse cast of characters like... Okay, let's see here. Oh, here we go. Waiter. Receptionist. Sonia will be right with you. Clerk. How can I help? <laughs> Co-worker you never see again. Sassy. I shared my pudding with you, man. Mm. Seems like I would have remembered you. Mm -hmm. And two of Ross's short-term girlfriends. <laughs> Come on, everybody. At least they tried. Let's give them a round of applause no. for doing the bare minimum. The bare minimum. Thank you. Through it all, hmm. experience the ups and downs of one of TV's worst love stories, <laughs> Ross and Rachel, two of the least compatible people in entertainment history. <laughs> Watch this neurotic intellectual and the spoiled anti-intellectual clash as... <sighs> Ross likes Rachel, then Rachel likes Ross, but Ross has a girlfriend, so Ross dumps his girlfriend and dates Rachel, but they immediately break up, then get back together, then go on a break, then break up again, then Rachel decides she likes Ross again, so he dumps another girlfriend, then they immediately break up, then Rachel wants Ross back, so he says the wrong name at the altar and yep. gets divorced, but now Ross doesn't want to get together, then they get drunkenly married in Vegas, then divorced, then Ross gets Rachel pregnant, but they don't get back together, but also they're jealous of each other, but also they still decide not to get together, Rachel decides to move to Paris and rejects Ross, but then immediately changes her mind, and they actually do get together just in time for the series finale. <laughs> Oh, what are you people cheering for? <laughs> I give this thing 10 minutes tops. <laughs> so settle in to binge one of the most iconic uh. sitcoms of all time, featuring all the unforgettable moments you love. Pivot! Chenandler Ball. Regina Falange. Dr. Drake. 
Ramore. We were on a break! Just know what you're signing up for, because when you watch this weekly show all at once, you start noticing things <laughs> like how inexplicably horny the characters are. Stop staring at my breasts. Nice and tight. There it is. When's the dirty stuff starting? How, uh, cold the studio is. <laughs> Can you see my nipples through this shirt? The thin layer of gay panic that covers <laughs> everything. Let your wrist go. Not so much. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> What's my boy doing with the Barbie? So how goes the dancing? Gay yet? Oh, I see what you mean. That's quite nice. <laughs> More food and beer. Yeah. <laughs> and the realization that every character in the show has just one reaction to literally anything that happens. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 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 She did it the best, though. Oh she did god. do it the best. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Stop it! <laughs> Starring Cougar Town Origins, uh. Bangs of New York, <laughs> Ross Dress for Less, Fiona Crapple, Matt LeBlanc Look on His Face, <laughs> The Bing Bang Theory, Poultry, The Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> the one from Screen Junkies, <laughs> hooking up with relatives. You don't kiss your friend's mom. You think it would be okay if I asked out your sister? I fooled around with Joey's sister. Get off my sister! Chandler getting handsy. I have her panties right there in my drawer. Mine is the red one. You took your eggs and you left. This is smack dab in the middle of the blue. Capital R, capital T. I want to go through the tunnel to the other side. You're the worst best man ever. You freaked out. Don't judge me, I'm only human. Could I be? Could that report be any later? Could these margaritas <laughs> be any stronger? Could that shot be any prettier? Could I be wearing any more clothes? Could I be any more turned on? Could I be more sorry? <laughs> oh, come on. 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 I know. I know. <laughs> I know. 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 Ugly naked <sighs> guy. Ugly naked guy got a thigh master. Ugly naked guy's laying kitchen tile. Ugly naked guy's taking his turkey out of the oven. Ugly naked guy's decorating his tree. Ugly naked guy's using his new hammock. Ugly naked guy's got a naked friend. Ugly naked guy looks awfully still. 90 stuff. Since when did roll stuff. Up? Laser disc marathon. Walker, Texas Ranger. Jasmine Bleak. Sony PlayStation. <laughs> Michael Flatley, Lord of the Dance. Joey Buttafuoco. Swing dance lessons. What about those Goodwill hunting guys? <laughs> Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan, they get mail. Y2K panic. Chicken soup for the soul. Which one was Deep Impact and which one was Armageddon? <laughs> Stephen Baldwin. <laughs> Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm. Got milk. I read about it in Maxim. Stupid gap on every corner. How you doing? 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 <laughs> How you are doing? Guest stars. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> Got a minute? Are you a uh, <laughs> friend of Rachel's? I found my identical hair to it. You know it's twins, right? Oh, yeah. Where could I find someone who looks exactly <laughs> like me? Dear white people. <laughs> so, did Joey star in an early off Broadway production of Interstellar? <laughs> I'm going to get on this spaceship. <sighs> <laughs> oh, but when I return, 200 years from now, you'll be long gone. <laughs> but I won't have aged at all. <laughs> so long, Vic. So you have a sitcom idea for me? Yeah, so it's called Friends. And what's it about? Well, it's about a group of people that are friends. Right, but like, what's their deal? Well, they're all friends, <laughs> together. Who are the characters though? Together. The friends. Yeah, but why them? Well, the title of the show is Friends, so obviously <laughs> we're gonna follow the friends. Like, why would... 
Like, Why would we follow anyone else? I okay, like talk the, to me the about the characters. The what kind of stuff are they going to be doing? <laughs> the friends? Yeah, just friend stuff. Ah. I'm sorry, am I doing something ah. wrong? I, I, I don't... It's fine. So there's a group of friends. <laughs> yes. How old are they? The friends? The friends, yes. How old are the friends? <laughs> They're like in their mid-twenties. Okay, good. That's helpful. Great. So they do like typical mid-twenties stuff? Exactly. They're just like every group of friends in their mid-twenties. Awesome. Relatable. Yeah, like one of them's a paleontologist named Ross. <laughs> what? His name's Ross. No, but he, he's a paleontologist? Yeah, well, you know how when people are in their twenties, there's always one in the group who's like a paleontologist with a PhD? Does... <laughs> Does that happen to people? <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty commonplace. Okay, common, well, at least yeah. he'll be an sure. interesting character. He's the boring one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna have this big love thing with Rachel over the span of several seasons. Rachel. Yeah, when we meet her, she's literally just run away from her own wedding because she realized she's not attracted to her fiance. She thinks he looks like Mr. Potato Head. Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah, she's not the best person. <laughs> Isn't it gonna be tough to get people to wanna follow a character like that? Actually, super easy, barely an inconvenience. How so? Well, I figure she could like, Never wear a bra. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that'll be good for ratings. Yeah, should be. So anyway, Rachel's gonna move into Monica's apartment without asking permission. Who's Monica? Monica is Ross's sister. So Rachel must be like really good friends with Monica for that to happen. They haven't spoken in years and Monica wasn't invited to Rachel's wedding. And she's just gonna suddenly move in with her unannounced and become super tight with all the friends. Yep. Instantly. <laughs> okay, so Instantly. tell me about Monica. Okay, so Monica <laughs> used to be fat, so... The jokes kind of write themselves. <laughs> what do you mean? We'll say we have a flashback where Monica is dancing. It's going to be funny because she's fat. Isn't that going to kind of alienate a large group of overweight people? <laughs> we'll look at it this way. Isn't any group of overweight people a large group of overweight people? <laughs> I guess, but does that make it okay? Maybe not, but these jokes are gonna be really good. A fat person dancing is pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, we're also gonna have her like really like food because she's fat. Because she's fat, exactly. Ah, all right, I'm sold. Yeah, so anyway, now <laughs> Monica in. is kind of a neat freak and we're gonna have her fall in love with Chandler eventually. Chandler is one of the friends. Right. It sounds like a lot of these friends are actually lovers. So? Well, maybe we should call the show Lovers. They're friends, okay? <laughs> so anyway, Chandler's like the wise, cracking, sarcastic guy of the group. So he's always making the other friends laugh. They will never laugh at his jokes. <laughs> never. Never. So he's like cracking the jokes never. for himself, I guess? I guess? Isn't that a little crazy? It is when you stop to think about it. So are there any other love friends? Are there any other friends? Well, there's also Joey, who's Chandler's roommate. And what's his deal? Well, he's dumb and he likes food, but he's not fat. Oh, that's it? No, he also really likes sleeping with women. Like, if he could sleep with over 50 women during the course of the show, that, that'd be perfect. <laughs> that feels like a lot. It is a lot. But because he's dumb, people will be like, oh, that's Joey. Any other friends I should know about? Ooh, yeah. Well, next up, there's Phoebe. What's up with her? Well, very early on, we're gonna find out that her mother committed suicide when she was 14. Oh my god. Yeah, and her mom was a drug dealer too. Jesus. So then Phoebe was taken care of by this albino guy and then he killed himself. Wow, I mean, I guess it'll kind of balance out the show to have such a dramatic character. No, she's the silly one. <laughs> oh, she is? Yeah, she's all weird and stuff. No, probably because her parental one. figures killed themselves. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Weirdo. So what kind of friend stuff do all these friends do together? <laughs> Most of the time they hang out in a coffee shop. They very rarely go to work. And other than that, they just hang out in their giant, beautiful apartments. They're in their mid-twenties, but they have giant, beautiful apartments. That's right. So this takes place in, in like a small town or New York City. <laughs> wow, so they must all have like really high power Howard jobs. Well, Joey is a struggling actor. <laughs> Rachel works in a coffee shop. Monica works in a restaurant. Chandler has a job <laughs> and Phoebe plays the guitar. Interesting. And I'm guessing since it's in New York, there's going to be a lot of diversity. Everyone will be white. <laughs> oh, everyone. Wow. And that's basically the show. That's all she wrote. That's all I wrote. <laughs> what happened? Uh, it's these damn clapper lights they installed. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh, let's not play with it. Wait. Do that again? Huh. What? Oh god. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. So, what about casting? What about it? Well, you gonna cast oh, some, like, big man. stars to help promote the show? Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm thinking of going, like, low-level, no-name actors. Oh, oh how shoot. come? Well, to be completely honest, a show like this will last one maybe two seasons, <laughs> so this way we know we're never gonna have to pay a lot of money for actors. <laughs> Fair enough. That's smart. <laughs> of all time. <sighs> All right, so I thought I knew who was gonna win this because uh, Honest Trailers hit on it. I didn't know if Pitch Meeting was going to, but the fact that both talked about the uh, status of the diversity of the casting in this show, I think they both win. I think, 
Honest trailer is almost won just for the Dear White People title for the show at the end. That was hilarious. It was a little bit too long though, but they had to go through each character, which was good. Especially the Phoebe part with the music changing and talking about her life and like, ah, let's change this up, let's make her silly. But Pitch Meeting obviously has a good way of going about it as well, being able to do pretty much the same thing in a shorter span time though, which I think, I don't know, does that make them better? Does that make Pitch Meeting better here? I'm, I'm not sure. You guys gotta choose for me, but Pitch Meeting was great as always. Like this is a show that I, I did watch it. I didn't like follow it crazy like that. I wasn't a, a major like, you know, a fan fan, but um, it reminded me of other shows like Living Single and Girlfriends. Like there's other shows like it that are, I guess considered black shows, but I guess does that not make them mainstream? That, that's, that's what was always weird to me. Why was Friends a hit, but you had all these other shows that pretty much did the same thing and they didn't do well at all. Maybe it was also the channel they were on. I don't know. But uh, that always kind of made me a little bit upset. Like, why weren't these other shows huge? Like Friends, but Friends gets all this acclaim and and they get paid crazy money for what they do. Obviously, I'm doing this today because we got the reunion on HBO Max today. I, I was hoping it'd be more of like a show, like, you know, almost like uh, Will and Grace. Like, do it, do another one more season of the show, just reminisce. But I guess the reunion is cool too. You get to kind of reminisce still. Uh, and you have people come on and, and talk about the show and the castings, all that kind of stuff. So I'm sure it'll, it'll be still okay. But personally, I was hoping it would be like one last season of the show, but whatever. What are your thoughts on Friends, the show overall? Are you gonna watch the HBO Max special, the reunion? Uh, what'd you think of the Honest trailer and the pitch meeting here? Again, I'm not gonna choose one. You guys choose who you think wins, but I'm not gonna choose one because I think they both win to me because they both did talk about what always irked me about the show, just as far as the diversity. But uh, they're, for me, they were both great. Pitch meeting might have been funnier though. I think I laughed a little more. I laughed on both, but I think I laughed a little more on the pitch meeting. Again, I gotta do like a laugh counter or a level decibel counter, something. I'm figuring that out. I'm gonna have that pretty soon, but uh, these are good. Thank you to you guys, my subscribers, my members. Uh, I thank you guys so much for coming back each and every day, checking out these videos, watching with me, laughing with me. I think it's pretty awesome. Big shout out to Slept Near, Brian Tidwell, and Steve O. You guys are my Hyper Crew members. Hyper Crew members get a shout out by me verbally in every video. So thanks so much for choosing that tier, guys. If you're interested in memberships, hit that join button down below. You'll see all the tiers available and all the perks available in each one. While you're still here, hit that like button. Real quick, just go ahead, hit that like button. And then check out some of our other most popular videos on the channel. You can also see our most recent reaction right over there as well. If you've seen all that, I'll see you guys in the comments. We can talk about this.